So if you want to make sure that 2012 is a year that you will never forget and remember, you need to ask this one single question. Check out this video. Hi, this is Dr. Lawrence Tan from Beverage Chiropractic, Living in Wellness and one of the wellness guys. So, how was your New Year's? How was 2011 and in transition to 2012? Did you have a wonderful New Year's Eve? Well, let me ask this. If you want to make sure you want to have a great 2012, you need to ask this one single question that will not only inspire you, motivate you, and really make sure you accomplish all your goals in 2012. You want to know what that question is? Well, here it is. Uh, think about that. Think back about on, on New Year's Eve or just around the end of 2011. Ask yourself this one question. How did you feel about 2011? Really think about that. How did you feel about it? Were you sad um, that you didn't accomplish certain things in 2011? Did it go by very, very quickly? Um, or were you um, thinking, reflecting back and saying it was a really tough year financially or for health reasons? Was it a great year for you? Was it a very successful year? Uh, was it full of accomplishments and you've done more than you expected? Because how you felt at that, it doesn't really matter if you felt great or if you felt sad or if you felt neutral about it or you just felt like 2011 just went by too quickly. Whatever the feeling is, that question and how you felt will not only can inspire you, but can actually motivate you to achieve your goals for 2012. Because whether, just for example, if you had a bad year in 2011, you need to think back now is to say, all right, I had a bad year in 2011. What can I do now in 2012, right now, just as the beginning of the year, to ensure that I don't have the same repeat of 2011? Okay. If you had a bad or um, health, um, I guess a health year in 2011, then you need to think back to yourself. How? What do I need to do to ensure? What goals do I need to achieve? What are some of the steps or things I need to implement in my life or resources that I need to get into my life? or maybe a coach or you need someone to actually talk to or find the, uh, the right tools and ideas to ensure that 2012 will not be a repeat in 2011. If you had a great successful year in 2011, great. What steps do you need to ensure that you did that in 2012 that you actually did in 2011 that made it so successful? See, it doesn't matter, really matter what the answer is, but the question is very important. The answer will only inspire you and motivate you and really push you towards ensuring that you are growing in 2012. Because in my belief is that we all need to grow. Every single year we need to be better at something, grow into ourselves. because you know what, at the end of the day, you know, you might be going three to five years from now and you go, wow, look back and say, you know what, I didn't really accomplish anything. Well, the only reason why you didn't accomplish anything is because you never took action to want to accomplish anything more than just living your life day to day. I, inspire, I hope I, I can encourage you to take the necessary steps to grow as a person, whether it be in, in your health, whether it be for your family, to be a fa better father, a better mother, better um, daughter or better son, better brother or sister, whatever that may be. You need to look at yourself and say, what can I do this year, 2012, to ensure and take small steps and take action to ensure that I'm going to have a great year financially, health-wise, or maybe just in relationship. What are your health goals? What are your relationship goals? And what are your business goals or your financial goals? Those are the top three things that you need to look at and really put it down on paper. You know, have three goals that you want to achieve, one for each of those areas, the top three, and aim for those this year. And I really hope that we can get you on track for 2012. If you want to know how to, you, if you want to know what the mistakes on why goal settings don't work, right? And we know that talk, a lot of people talk about goal setting and why it doesn't work. They want to do it, but they, they said oh, it never works. Well, I'll show you exactly well, exactly what happens and why goal setting doesn't work, and more importantly, the steps to making sure goal setting works for you in 2012. And how do you want to do that? And well, while we spent half an hour discussing it, you can go check out thewellnessguys.com and or the link below this video and you should be able to link directly to that episode. We did this half an hour episode on giving the step-by-step -step process on how you can eliminate the mistakes on goal setting and implement strategies to ensure that you're going to have a great 2012. I'm Dr. Lawrence Tan from The Wellness Guys from Beverage Chiropractic and Living Wellness. Thank you for joining me and have a great year.